Hello, I'm Jonathan, and today we're continuing our adventure into internet custom tasks by taking a look at uh, sending an ad hoc email. Basically, with an ad hoc email, you can send an email as a custom task off the back of a schedule or independently of a schedule. Let's take a look. If you go into any of your schedules or an automation schedule in, in the custom task section, Go to send email. Go ahead and take that task and drag it over to the right pane, and the email task will uh, options will go ahead and pop up. First, we'll go ahead and name our task, and then next we have to decide our two or BCC or CCC and etc. Um, if you click on the two button, you can actually pull up your CRD address book, so you can pick any of your contacts you have programmed out of there. So as we go ahead and we add our different uh, individuals as our recipients for this email, you can also uh, attach any file in addition to this email as well. Go ahead and give it a subject. And as you see, it's just like writing an email in Outlook. Now in the body, you can go ahead and write whatever message that uh, you desire. You can write this if you're doing HTML. You can adjust the uh, font, the make it bold, underline, you can edit the font, add bullet points, all of those types of things if you desire. Um, you can even uh, add coloring and highlighting to your text as well. Some other things you can do with the formatting too, um, let's go ahead and type a little sentence here. And you can also uh, right justify, left justify, or center justify any of the text as well. Now, if you actually want, this is only available for HTML format, so, but you can also switch to text format, and text format, you can send a simple text email. And if you actually want to have it, access to all those other options, you just go back to the uh, HTML option. Pick the SMTP server that you want to send the email from, and you're all set. Clicking on the Options tab, you actually have some extra options you can do with the task. There, you can execute the task before or after the schedule executes, or you can also have it execute before and after the schedule executes. Then also below that, you have two additional options. You can execute the schedule after successful report delivery, or you can execute the schedule after successful report production. Big difference there. Successful report delivery implies that after the report has been run, and deliver to its destination, then run the task. This is probably the most common. Then the other is re successful report production. This implies that after the report has been fully produced, but has not yet been delivered to its destination, the, test, the task will execute. Big difference there, and often it makes the difference when you're using features like deferred delivery. Thank you very much for joining.